So sitting down with Gail and Wayne, and we're gonna talk about a little bit of their life story. They've been married for 50 years, and that in itself is a story. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Hi Gail. Hi, <laughs> so, so Wayne, we know we're traveling and in Cuba right now. Tell us what brings you to Cuba. Primarily the wonderful people, friendly people, the relaxed atmosphere, and of course the tropical weather. Yes. And Gail, I'm sorry, Gail, tell me, I know we've been talking and I know your son passed away about six years ago. Yes. Can you please share that story with us? Because the worst thing that can ever happen to anybody is the passing of their son or their child. And I cannot believe that because as a mother, that's really, really hard. It is. So yes. I want you to share that with us. Okay. Well, it happened six years ago on December 11th. And uh, our son is an outdoor adventure guide. He takes people up mountains and skis down the backside. And he was on his way to work in uh, Rogers Pass in BC. And he was involved in a really serious accident with black ice and he lost his life. So we have survived the last six years. It's not getting any easier, but we come to Cuba to heal. We have so many beautiful Cuban friends and families. And actually today when we leave here, we are going to our Cuban son's home to visit with his family. And uh, we met him six years ago here in Don Lino. After our loss, we came here to try to recoup regenerate, heal, and we met Alberto. And he has been the love of our life. And uh, we are so excited to go and see him again today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, death um, is a part of life, but it's very, very hard when your son passes away, but you're surviving and as parents, it's difficult. So this is why I wanted to bring in Gail and share her story and Wayne and share their story because I believe it truly, we heal in different ways. All of us have to find our own inner way to take care of ourselves, our emotions, our gifts, but also to be able to be open for more love. And that's what Gail's doing here. And Wayne, what is your take on exactly what Gail just said? Uh, well, of course, after losing our son, we've done lots of reading and research and people's viewpoints about, and often people will say, well, time heals. Well, we've discovered that time does not heal in our case, at least not yet. Uh, the pain is lessening a little bit, especially on days like today when we're visiting Alberto and his family. But every day it is still there. Of course, you expect to go before your children Absolutely. or your offspring and uh, being a policeman as a career I saw an awful lot of tragedy never thinking the door would knock announcing tragedy to me of our son so that probably makes it a little bit worse for me as well Absolutely. although I didn't get to see the uh, the accident location and so on it was offered to me by my RCMP brothers in BC but I chose not to but uh, I can imagine oh. what it was like. So. Well, let me let me say that I'm so sorry for your loss, and I know that all the viewers who are listening and looking in, they are, you know, also with me in empathy, and I thank you so much for sharing your story.